everyone, welcome to Ask at 24.3. I'm Aisha and in this tutorial, I'm drawing Venom's illustration. It's a complete beginner's tutorial from sketching to rendering, so I hope you'll enjoy it. The picture I'm drawing is a split face picture in which half of the face has converted to the Venom and half of it has a human side. Here I'm using HP Mechanical Pencil for the initial sketch and I'm using grid for the guidelines. So, I'm defining the shape and the curves of the eye, also adding the darker values around it. I'm drawing the venom side of the face and at this point, I'm sketching the eye by following the reference picture. And I already mentioned all the materials in description below which I'll be using in this tutorial. The best method to create light dark and mid-tone values is to choose soft hard and medium grid pencil and for that I chose HB grid white pencil, soft charcoal pencil and medium charcoal pencil. Now I'm drawing the teeth of the venom side of the face and the shape of the teeth are tricky and different to each other so I'm drawing accordingly. They are big and spiky wider from the roots with conical tips. Right here, I'm sketching the lower lip line and then drawing the teeth. Well, I'm drawing the teeth again because I have found some space distribution error between them. As no one has one with perfect skill, so if you ever find something disturbing, just erase that and draw again. Another thing I want to mention here is that don't draw the whole drink at the same time. It's better to take breaks for the refreshment of the eyes and the mind. Because continuous sketching will exhaust the eye vision and that will make us unable to observe all the details. Once again, I'm drawing the lower lip line, the jaw and the teeth. And you can see that the size of the teeth are smaller than the upper ones. At this level, I'm trying to achieve the basic look of the illustration, so I'm just marking the outer lines. Once I have completed the foundation, then I'll start adding the details. Right here, I'm constructing the shape of the lower jaw, the teeth, and the details of sublingual fossa. Having control on my hand weight while marking the stroke is also a great way to separate objects from one another, and that can help me to emphasize on shadows. Thicker and soft line can easily fade into the shadows, which helps to create a pop-up look. Now I'm drawing the split area of the face at the middle by marking Wayne's curve creases, which shows how the venom could encompassing him inside. And you can see that now I'm marking the shaded and highlighted area at the side of the face. But no worries. I'm not marking the harsh line, that's why I have a freedom to make changes. Now I'm drawing the eye and the nose at the human side of the face. While drawing the iris, I'm adding gradient tones in between the fiber strands and around the pupil. I've removed the whole thing which I've created earlier because the lacrimal crinkle isn't visible and the size of the eye was smaller than the real one. So first, I'm sketching the white area of the eye, then draw the lacrimal crinkle and the crease lines. Here I'm drawing the iris as the round is almost visible in this eye so I'm drawing almost a complete circle. Then I block in the darker values to show the pupil and the outer rim of the iris. And also I'm leaving some of the area empty to show the reflection of the light. After finishing the details of lower eyelid, I move to the eyebrows and fill it with multiple layers of mid-tone strokes. Now I move to the nose, so first I'm drawing the foundation, then blocking the darker values in the nostrils. At this stage, I'm drawing the lips. They are quite thicker and darker, so I fill them with darker tones and blotch them with paper stamp. After that, I have smoothed out the crispness of pencil lines by using paper stamp. I'm adding the dark tone right inside of the lips to show the depth of the mouth. I'm adding more dark values in the nostrils, the lips, and around to prominent the creases of the face. I'm defining the mustache area by adding shading and highlights. After that, I'm adding more details around the face. 
I'm adding the darker mid-tones and light values to show the gradient contrast for depth and the three-dimensional effect. Medium charcoal pencil, I'm adding more darker tones around the nose, the lips and the face to achieve good realistic effect. With the help of tissue paper, I'm smudging all the sharp lines of pencil and charcoal around the face area. But be gentle while shading and keep adding light layers on top of each other until you reach a desired shade. Here I'm adding the details at the human side of the face by drawing the crease line and the vein in irregular lines which are visible like a cobweb in the skin. And I'm back to the vein side of the face adding dark values around the eyes to create more depth and contrast. At this point, I'm adding multiple layers of light stroke by using medium charcoal pencil to get the required shade. And you can see that I'm wearing a skating glove. This is how I'm securing my drawings from the craziness on the head and also my graphite lines from being getting blurred. And don't forget to see your drawings from the distance so that will help you what to add and remove. For more darker shades, I'm using soft charcoal pencil around the jaw and I'm using my mechanical eraser to expose the light areas to create a nice contrast of light and depth. Another way to check your illustration is to see it in the mirror from the distance it will also help you to do the amendments if there are any mistakes. I'm following the reference picture while drawing each and every feature of the venom because it's impossible to create anything or any object without guidance. Always use a full range values of light and dark contrast to make it look more realistic and prominent. Now I'm blocking in the darker values with soft charcoal pencil. I'm creating the pattern of depth and reflection in the skin of the head. And again I'm using paper towel underneath of my hand to save the drawing from being getting blurred. With the help of blending stem, I'm smoothing out all the sharp lines and creating the darker contrast by using medium charcoal pencil around the pattern of the venom to achieve convex and concave effect. Well, blending stem is an amazing tool for shading and smudging. For blending, use a clean paper stamp and push the graphite and charcoal in back and forth position until the tone blends together, but apply a very light pressure on it. You can see that there are little white grooves in the paper which are visible when adding dark values, so with the help of blending stamp, just spread the charcoal and graphite to fill the grooves. Also use kneaded eraser if you find any black dots right after blending to clean them out. Here I'm using mechanical eraser to create white areas in the gray layered surface which are showing the reflection of the light. After that I used tissue to smooth it out and use kneaded eraser over it to clear the highlights. Shading and highlights is one of the important attributes of realistic drawing It defines the accuracy of an object that creates the magical illusion in 3D effects. The source of the light explains that where to add light values and the shadows. So look for the light areas of an object and the very bright areas are the highlights. The dark values of an object are the shadows with, with which you can identify the source of the light. The cast shadows and the mid-tone values are usually found close to the dark values. And with the help of cast shadows, you can easily find the direction where from the light is coming. So now I'm drawing the teeth of the upper jaw with medium charcoal pencil and smudging it with blending stamp. At a smooth out, I add more darker tones and I'm covering all of it with graphite and also using soft charcoal pencil for darker tones. Don't lose the focus from your reference picture while drawing and see it quite closely to observe the picture into basic shapes. Another point I want to add here is that the charcoal has bigger green than the graphite and it creates a rich black tone even with a very light thin stroke so it can easily smudge. Well, it's a mixed media drawing of charcoal and graphite. They are the most common art supplies. The each of them has created the great contrast of lighter and darker tones with matte and glossy effects. So play with these characteristics and please don't expect anything the medium is unable to create. For the initial sketch of the lower jaw, I'm using graphite pencil but if you want you can use hard charcoal pencil as well. And with the help of soft charcoal pencil, I'm blocking in the dark values at the shaded area between the teeth and also using eraser for highlights. With HP graphite mechanical pencil, I'm creating light, mid-tone and dark values to achieve prominent details at the lower jaw. Another point to be noticed is that the good contrast makes the drawing more three-dimensional by accentuating the light and the shadows. 
Here I'm adding dark black tones at this side of the shoulder with the help of a razor. I'm exposing the light areas. I'm creating the texture of the skin with white charcoal pencil and a razor to expose the shine and the light of the wet vein. For a powerful stroke drawing, we need to add dark values next to the light areas. I'm also applying bright white values to show the reflection of the light and adding a little gray tone to show the depth around it. For an accurate and good results, it's better to be humble and don't rush. Focus on the subject which you are drawing and keep following your speed. And I keep adding multiple layers of lighter and darker tones to create a good contrast of depth and highlights. I'm also using charcoal pencil to achieve more details and depth inside this pattern. But if you get failed to achieve a good result, then don't give up and try again because practice makes perfection. Then I move to the other side of the shoulder and repeat the same procedure which I did on the previous one. And again back to this side of the shoulder to create subtle highlights with my white ink pen and white gel pen. I'm developing darker shades with soft charcoal pencil and using paper stump for blending. For a good realistic drawing, it's better to add multiple applications of rich contrast to achieve a good gradient values at the canvas. Now I'm using mechanical eraser for soft highlights with very light pressure and blotch the sharp edges with paper stump. So, but if you don't have it, don't worry, just use a normal eraser. To create a smooth finish, I'm using blending stump to blush the sharpness of lighter and darker values. And again, I'm adding multiple layers of darker and lighter tones to achieve a rich contrast between depth and lights. Charcoal gives the liberty of rendering to an artist because of its characteristics. They can easily blend, spread, and erase. Well, I finally reached at this side of the face and once again, I'm using soft charcoal pencil to adding details and depth. I'm creating the strands of the venom which are covering him inside and they are broad and narrow in shape with darker and light values. Here, I'm using wax paper under my hand to prevent the mess as charcoal can easily smudge out. So with this, I can save the shading and highlights of those parts. Accidentally, my fiber castle soft charcoal pencil got broken while sharpening, so now I'm using the lead. Anyways, forget it. Now I'm creating dark tones at the human side of the face and blotching the sharpness with paper stamp to achieve a smooth effect. For more prominent tones, I'm using medium charcoal pencil around it, and for subtle highlights, I'm using a razor inside of the iris and around the eye. For more prominent tones, I'm using medium charcoal pencil around it and for subtle highlights, I'm using my eraser inside the iris and around the eye. Right here, I'm drawing the ear as the face has almost covered with the venom, so half of the ear is also inside of it. I'm adding darker values with soft charcoal lead to the venom strands which are wrapping him inside of it and also drawing the veins which are visible in the face skin while converting to the venom from the human. Now I'm creating the darkest tones inside of the nostrils, around the nose, the lips, the mouth and at the mustache. And again I'm blending the sharpness with the help of paper stamp. Here, I'm using kneaded eraser and the normal eraser to expose the light areas as required. And again, I'm adding multiple layers of darker and lighter tones to achieve a rich contrast between depth and lights. And I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you want me to continue uploading free tutorials like this on YouTube, so come and support me at my Patreon account where I have recently started uploading my real-time drawing series. And also, I have uploaded 14 hours long tutorial of this drawing at Patreon, which is available into 7 episodes with each and every details, so don't miss that. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you next tutorial. Till then, take care, bye bye.